guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Hotful Boyfriend, the Holiday Star. After some really cute and crazy couple of stories with a couple of heart twingy moments, it's time to start the third one and see what happens. There's a train track and an eclipse is happening, question mark. So let's see what's going on. The day the night slept. Dazzling night on Dreaming Star. Ruler of the stars, the Dreaming King. The path to his kingdom quietly awakens in the sleeping night sky. We must not miss the train. We cross the glowing river. We follow the obsidian map into the world of shadows. Please enter your name. Alright. Uh... Man, I was going to write cutie patootie of all things. That was weird. Okay. Kitty patootie trying to take over my life, apparently. She hasn't had a story in a while, so maybe that's why. Is Chan kawaii okay? Well, now that she uh, resisted the pull of uh, cutie patootie, I think so. Yes. Oh, Nageki. I am not here. It's almost the end of the year. And Nageki just came out to me. What do you... I believe I am what you would refer to as a ghost. Bound to the place of my death. Are we just coming in at the end of your route from the first game? Because, <laughs> ah! Or something like that. I only ever see him in the library, but I just thought he was a shut-in. I never expected this. I've seen a thousand wonders in my time, but even I'm a little surprised. Of course, he's still Nageki. It's not like we can't be together anymore. No matter who or what he is, he's still my friend. This won't change anything. You are very strange, Miss Chan. Shouldn't you pick your friends a little more carefully? What are you talking about? I can be friends with a ghost if I want. Don't judge me. Mr. Ghost? That's all for today. See you all tomorrow. Half days always remind you that it's the end of the semester, huh? Indeed. There is perhaps a week left. Aw, that's so lonely. I want to stay in class 2-3 a little longer. Oko-san feels lonely, too! Oko-san does not want to be thrown out of this classroom! Hmm. <laughs> Why not repeat a year if you want to stay that much? Repeating a year in high school would be a little much. Man, are you guys graduating? You don't mind, Sakuya? You don't feel sad that we might all split up at the end of the year? Um... N not at all. Group mentality is for the weak. I guess I'm one of the weak, then. I hope we'll all be in the same class again next year. With Mr. Nanaki! Hmm, hmm. Well... I hope I see you all in the spring, too. Aw. The year is almost over. Okay, so you're not graduating. You're just finishing the year of school, and you don't know what's what the future holds. Meaning I'm almost through at the library, too. I should be heading over there right about now. Oh, could you wait a moment? Huh? We're not done? Sorry. I forgot to tell you all something. Um, they'll be opening the school the night after tomorrow. Opening the school? At night? Is it some sort of school-wide bravery challenge? A grand tournament of guts to close the year! Perfect to make the blood boil and the flesh crawl! Think of the memories we'll make. Uh, I don't want to make those memories. Unfortunately, that's not it. Unfortunately. It's the Astronomy Club's activity night. The Astronomy Club? Meaning... The Astronomy Club used to do a lot of serious observation, but after a while their activities devolved into bonfire mixer parties. 
after a long and circuitous tale, they turned into a cult and worshipped the bonfire as a god, and the student council had to enact punitary measures. If you want to hear more about their story, go buy that thing and listen to it. Buy that thing? Is there an audiobook? You know, the thing? The one that isn't out in English. Ah. Thank you. Will people even know what to buy from that description, Kawaii? Cool! And stealth marketing! Stealth marketing! It's also fourth wall breaking! Hooray! It didn't sound very stealthy to me. A true samurai is never stealthy. So anyway, the Astronomy Club has started having activities again. That's right. Though the bonfires are still banned. There is going to be a total lunar eclipse that night. Ah, uh, I was... So that picture was accurate. We decided... To open up the roof so everyone could see. You don't need to be a member of the Astronomy Club to come. Everyone's welcome. A total lunar eclipse? That sounds exciting. Who knows when another one will happen? I think I'll go. I heard there's going to be a radical lunar eclipse, Nageki. It will be most excellent. <laughs> it's a total lunar eclipse, Miss Chan. Not a radical lunar eclipse. Nageki stares like the frigid wind of a Siberian winter night. Have you ever seen one, Nageki? Perhaps. I may have, or I may not have. I do not remember. I suppose he did only just realize that he's dead a few years a, a few years ago, a few days ago. His memory must still be foggy. They're opening the school at night the day after tomorrow so we can see it. Want to watch it with me, Nageki? We could have a moon viewing party in the library. The moon's going to be eclipsed. I'm not sure how much of a mo moon viewing party that would be. Wouldn't we have a better view from the roof anyway? Oh, yes. It is going to be open after all. But can you get out of here? You can travel up and down. If it's to the roof, then yes. Hold on! What, really? Aren't you trapped in here? Perhaps I didn't tell you. I can't leave the library. But I can move straight up and down. I remember that. To the chemistry lab directly underneath us, for instance. Mobility. Vertical only. That's amazing. I'll have to train my legs so that one day I can move like that too. Um, so you'll be able to join us on the roof? Yup. Yay! That's amazing, Nageki. Really? I'm not sure I see what good it does us. Just think about it. We can go sunbathing on the roof during lunch breaks and stuff. Ah, oh, I'm getting excited already. I suppose so. But you're always taking naps in the library windowsill anyway, so I don't think it will be all that different. Jeez, Nageki. Isn't a change of scene supposed to be romantic? Anyway, let's watch the eclipse together. If you want to. Well... Alright. Yay! Yay! You're awfully enthusiastic. Of course I am! Ah, I can't wait! I can't wait! Be so romantic. Important notice. Click. Please be aware. This episode contains spoilers for the Inugami clan by Yokomiyo Seishi. Yasu did it! What? If you are reading it or plan to read it, you may want to wait until after that to play this game. Otherwise, enjoy the ride. Welp. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm already invested in this, so hopefully... If any of you guys have read it, you can fill me in in the comments. <laughs> or tell me where to go to read. I've seen and read things out of order before. I'll be fine. The promised night of the total lunar eclipse. And not a cloud in the sky. Perfect for a moon viewing party. 
I'm not sure it's exactly a moon-viewing party, but I am glad it's clear. The weather report said it might get cloudy after all. It's cold up here, so make sure to stay warm, everyone. I see you even brought a blanket, sir. Yes, this blanket always helps me relax. What's the point of falling asleep? You're here to watch the eclipse. Wake up, you fool. Aren't you supposed to be the chaperone? Looks like the regular crew is all here. Meeting up in the school at night like this is so exciting. Wait, but can Kazuaki or Hitori, I guess, see Nageki? It's my question. <gasps> Nageki's here. Cool! It is a full moon! Okosan's bestial heritage awakens! Cool, cool! Can you feel your bestial inner selves calling, Kawaii, Nageki? You can see Nageki too! My bestial inner self? I don't think I have one. I can, Okosan! My hunter-gatherer blood boils! Looking at you, I almost wonder if there ever really was a time when humans ruled the Earth, Miss Chan. Cool, cool! Okosan thinks Kawaii is probably not a human! No! I am a human! Yeah. Can the others even see him? Okosan doesn't seem to be having any trouble. Cool! I've heard that animals can see ghosts, so maybe the same is true of older breeds. Hmm... What about Ryota? Yeah. Oh, hi, Nageki. I thought you only ever showed up in the library. Indeed. He can see him just fine. Maybe Ryota and I are attuned with the paranormal. Hmm. Sakuya! <laughs> Is there really someone there? Yep! You can't see him? Kind of skinny morning dove? I am not surprised. Most birds haven't paid any attention to me until now. I am not sure I believe it. Is this a joke? No! Though if it were, I bet you'd fall for it completely. Cool. Only birds who are pure of heart can see him. Okosan is pure. Wah. Do you mean to mock me, filthy mongrel? Ah, oh, jeez, don't fight, you two. Doves aren't usually nocturnal, are they? Why do they all have so much energy? <gasps> Miru and Kaku! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ah, oh, these two had too much energy as well. Ah, oh, shoot, you brought your children. Very good. I had hoped they would calm down once Christmas was past, but... It would seem that they become excited in response to any sort of special event. Doctor! You're here to see the eclipse too? I suppose I am. It is certainly an interesting phenomenon, and these two insisted on seeing it. Merry Christmas! It's hide and seek! Miss Ramon is playing hide and seek! Well, everyone seems to be having fun. Hmm. It's almost midnight. Look at the sky, everyone. It should start soon. Nageki! Nageki! It's starting! You don't need to shout. I can hear you perfectly well. You'll bother the neighbors. Oh! It's the middle of the night! I forgot! Um, Nageki, can I sit next to you? Ooh, Kawaii making them plays. Go ahead. I can't tell if his feathers are warm or cold. I can barely even tell that I'm touching them at all. It could be just my imagination. Boy, did just tell you he's a ghost. But sitting here gazing up at the night sky, he looks happier than usual. Seeing his face makes me feel warm inside. This must all be my imagination. The eclipse is starting. Let's see. What? And now we're on a train. That segue, though. I can see no one else on the train. It is very quiet. Is this 
The last train? It's dark outside. I look up and address the dove, leaning his head out the window opposite. Don't stick your head out too far, Nageki! I won't. It looks so s Oh, sorry. It looks so strange outside. What are those lights flowing by? Are we next to a river? I think so. The river of stars, that is. Did we fall asleep during the eclipse? The river of stars? The Milky Way. Those are stars you see. Oh, so that's it. I see blue stars and green ones and all colors. There are indeed a great variety. Whoa. Some kind of compass? What does it say? Feet hath trod the weary road of toil and strife. Let from the sorrows of his something. Huh, okay. Nageki takes a black planisphere out from somewhere and points at it. We're here. Near Cygnus. Cygnus. Is that a constellation? That's right. Maybe you know it as the swan. Oh yes, yes. I know that one. So Cygnus is the swan. I never knew. The bright one we just passed is Deneb. I think we'll see Alberio in a few minutes. You know a lot, Nageki. I was always told that every hunter-gatherer needs to be able to find Polaris, but other than that, I don't know any of them. If we pass its tail and are nearing the head, we must be traveling from north to south. But... The swan is a summer constellation. It's a little early for us to be seeing it from the northern hemisphere. It's still the third semester, after all. Hmm. Wait, Nageki? <laughs> Finally! When did we get onto this train? Who knows? Where are we going? I don't know. And the train is going through outer space? It would seem so. What do I do? We're finally on a date in outer space, and I forgot my spacesuit. What will happen if I go into a vacuum without a spacesuit on? Will I explode? The window has been open the entire time. Back. Close it, Nageki! Before we explode! Calm down, Miss Chan. It's alright. This is probably just a dream. A dream? That's right. Nageki can move vertically, but he still can't leave the school. There's no way we could be on a train together. Um... What were we doing? Astronomy. Oh, right! We were watching the eclipse on the roof with everyone. Does this mean... We fell asleep in the middle of the eclipse? Perhaps. It's a little bit cliche, but you could try pinching your cheek. Oh, yes. Pinch. Hmm. It doesn't hurt. It feels kind of unsatisfying. I feel the same as always. But if you don't feel normal, this must be a dream. I see. That's too bad. Going on a trip with you would be so much fun, but it's just a dream. I don't mind if it is. He continues staring out the window at the pale stars. He seems more open than usual. I guess he's right. We should enjoy ourselves, even if it is just a dream. We will be checking tickets now. Please have them ready as the conductor comes by. Ooh, the conductor. Howdy there. Please show me your tickets. The conductor appears without a sound. I never felt him coming. He's as good as a doctor. Um... Wait, have I met you somewhere before? Could be. I see too many people every day to know. I 
really feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Anyway, tickets, please. Tickets? You mean we need to pay to ride the train even though it's a dream? Oh. I see you have a scorpion flame, sir. The planet's fear gets you on for free. Wow! You get a free ride, Nageki? I don't remember getting this anywhere. Of course not. The scorpion flame is a treasure passed down only to the chosen ones. Space can be a dangerous place for someone without one of those. Take good care of it. Never, ever, ever give it to anyone, no matter how they ask. Alright. It is a far cry from what a middle schooler might use in a science fair project. It looks antique and valuable. The stars aren't printed on the surface and instead glitter almost with their own light. Are those real gemstones? And you, miss. You don't have a planisphere, do you? I need to pay a fare, too? Of course you do. Only the one with the planisphere gets on for free. Ah, oh, what a financially troubling dream. What, what do I do? Do I have anything I could use as a ticket? <laughs> Bob White, look. Here! What is that? It's the fortune I drew at the temple on New Year's. You've been holding on to it for a while. Ah, uh, that's a ticket for the green car. It is? You can stay here if you want, but you could move to the celebrity car. See you around. What a convenient dream. The train will be stopping for a few minutes to wait for signals. So there are traffic signals in outer space? It would seem so. Though one would think that with so much room they could arrange it so that the train would never have to stop. Yeah. Oh, Nageki, Nageki! There's a station! We aren't really trying to get anywhere anyway. Wanna get off? A station? Didn't they just say we were stopping to wait for signals? But there's a platform and everything. Look, it says Southern Cross Line, the King's Station. Let's get off! Alright. Let's go. King Station. Well, how colorful and Alice in Wonderland looking. Wow, it's wonderful. It's like we're in a fairy tale. What a pretty town, Nageki. I'm getting excited already. Indeed. It's almost like we're dreaming. We are! We can look around a little, right? Let's see what there is to see and then get back on the train. It's not like we're headed anywhere in particular, after all. That's true, but the station's gone. Huh? I turn around and the station is indeed gone. The age platform has disappeared, leaving only the palely glowing tracks running off into the distance. Hmm. Maybe this is like that thing in adventure games where we can't leave until we've completed some more events? Who knows? We can't leave the star for now anyway. In that case, we'll just have to see its sights until it's sorry. Where do you want to go, Nageki? We don't have a map, so should we just wander around? I don't think the planisphere will help us find our way around the star. I'm fine with anywhere. Anywhere you want to go, Miss Chan. So I get to be his escort. Leave it to me. Um, my hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me... Excuse me? You must be guests from away. Welcome to the Holiday Star. We are addressed by a somewhat vague-looking dove. He must be a local? This is the Holiday Star? That's right. The Holiday Star. A happy name. Very happy indeed. We celebrate our holiday, which never ends. This is a happy star. This must be your first time here. 
Why not go pay your respects to the ruler of this planet, the Dreaming King, our lord? We're meeting the king already? What a forward king he must be! Is that palace in the distance where he lives? Oh yeah, I see it up there in the top. Yes, it is. If you head straight for the light atop its tower, you will be there before you know it. Getting invited to see the king as soon as we arrive is definitely VIP treatment. Let's go! Hello. What an unstable looking throne. The palace was impressive from the outside, but it's even more kingly on the inside. The citizen we talked to earlier said the king would be in here, but... His Royal Highness the King! Oh, hello! Hello, I am the king. Did he just announce himself? Maybe that's how they do things around here. The crowned bird sets himself down on his magnificent throne. He doesn't quite seem dignified, or maybe he seems a little humble, or... At any rate, he's a very forward king. You are the king? Yes. The king is the king of the star. He's very assertive in an extremely plain way. The king asked, are you from the outside? You have a very nice planisphere. Yes, we're from Little Dove Hachiman City, from St. Pidgeon Nations. It sparkles and is pretty. The king thought he would like it. This? That's so rude! How can you ask for someone's things as soon as you meet them? Are you a selfish character, Mr. King? Oh, no. <laughs> that was too harsh, Miss Chan. You've made the king sad. He's kind of a wimpy king. You can't have this, though. I was told not to give it to anyone. I'm sorry. The king does not mind. The king is not crying. The king asked, would you listen to the king's request instead? Request? The king and his people are troubled. Troubled by the new restaurant at the edge of the crystal forest. I would think that restaurants opening at a tourist draw would be perfectly normal. Birds who go into the new restaurant don't come out. They go in, but never come out. Once they go in, they don't come back out. Those who come out can't go in. Do you understand? Uh... This music, though. So, people are disappearing inside the restaurant? Well, this got creepy awfully quickly. The king was very scared. The king cried. The king asked you, who have come from outside, if you could investigate. Do you always refer to yourself in the third person, Mr. King? I guess wandering travelers will always get asked to run errands if they talk to the king, no matter where and when they are. What do you think, Nageki? Should we accept? We don't have other plans. This could kill some time. An investigation which smacks of intrigue and danger could kill some time? You're awfully bold, Nageki. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> Understood, Mr. King. Leave it to us. 